Hello again and welcome to another Know Thy Foe video. So today's video we will be taking a look at the Dark Eldar, also known as the Drukhari. They are the evil, sadistic, twisted cousins of the Eldari, the Elder. And they have recently had their codex released by Games Workshop. And there's no easy way to put this, guys, but they are really really powerful they're really really good and i don't say this lightly but i honestly think that dark elder are the new top tier faction way way above space means above elder they're crazy the, the matches i have had against dark elder i've had three games against them i've managed to win one of them just but they've other two i have resoundingly lost and they are so, so good. It was a bloodbath. Now, admittedly, admittedly, I was using my trios list. But the, but I, I was using my list, which I would consider to be a standard take all covers Imperial Guard list. Okay, my list, I had 150 infantry, mixture of, you know, conscript, uh, 90 conscripts with commissars to keep them in line. Um, uh, and I had... Uh, three infantry squads and three veteran squads, three Lehman Russes and three Basilis. So, 150 infantry and six tanks. That's a that's a good, you know, whether you want to swap the conscripts out for regular infantry, it, it wouldn't have mattered in these scenarios is all I can tell you. The point is, is that these guys, that's a standard list. That's like a standard garrison. Standard army, Lehman Russes, artillery, infantry. The cornerstone of the Imperial Guard. And it, it got badly mauled. It got badly mauled. And that's not to say, I want to say this now, that's not to say we did not go down without a fight. What are my 30-man conscript units? Charged across the battlefield. Eventually, inevitably got unsupported by their commissar. That didn't stop them. And they bayoneted, they shot and bayoneted down a raider, 15 cabalites and a saberite before they were finally killed by... Three disintegrator ravagers, so nine ravager shot. Nine ravagers, nine disintegrators. Twenty-seven disintegrator shots. Just, just, just butchered them. And that's what my opponent had to turn on them. You know, my opponent went in there with some serious firepower, and he did some serious damage. This is in the second game, but I was able to fight hard, and it was a, it was a gallant loss. I will admit, it was a gallant loss in the second game. The first game was pretty, pretty good. I was able to win the first game, but like I said, I went first. And by going first, I was able to do significant damage to the Dark Elder Ravagers and their infantry. So my first game was a win, but I went first, I was able to bombard them. Second game was a loss, and a close loss, and the third game was a massacre. I was on the receiving end of a massacre. My opponent, in my, th in my third game, which I think, honestly, is possibly the tournament standard list for Dark Elder is what he was using. He had some Talos. He had six Talos in three squads. Two Razor Wing Jack Fighters, one Void Raven Bomber, three Venoms, three squads of Cab Lights in the Venoms, uh, a couple of Archons, uh, and three Ravagers with Disintegrators. In one turn... My opponent was able to destroy three Lehman Russes and two, uh, two Lehman Russes and two Basilists and 40 infantry. Or something crazy. 30 infantry, I think it was. That's right. 20% of my infantry was killed by his spare firepower. By just, just stuff. The tanks were just obliterated. I was able to do I was able to fight back, guys. I don't want to think that the Mordian 50th went down without a fight. They, they went down, but they took a lot of Eldar with them in the end. We got desperate. We had to instigate bayonet charges with forty cons with 60 conscripts against uh, the Talos. It did not end well for those conscripts. I did not appreciate that Talos get 10 close combat attacks each. We held on. It was a Maelstrom game, to be honest. I only lost... I was able to score uh, five Maelstrom points. My opponent was on something like... 
uh, seven or eight. So it wasn't massively ahead. But after four turns, which is all we had time for, I was reduced to a vet, two veteran squads, two infantry squads, and a griffin. Or basilisk, sorry. A basilisk. That's all I had. My opponent's army. He had his ravagers fully intact. His talos pretty much fully intact. And one of his planes had managed to kill his venoms. Cabalites, a few wounds on the on the ravages, and kill his void rave bomber on one of his uh, razor wings. And it would, you know, I, I killed about half his army in return. He killed about eighty percent of mine. Just insane, insane. But what makes the Drakari so powerful? What, there's two things that have made them go from okay in the index to absolutely bunker bustingly insanely powerful one cheap Drakari are not very expensive now they've had points reductions across the entire board my like i said my opponent was able to bring three ravagers three planes three uh, venom six talos and a whole load of other stuff three or four characters you know he had loads uh, my opponent before that had something like six raiders, three ravagers, and some scourges. My opponent before that, again, had just like almost a hundred Cabalite warriors. Like, Dark Elder are not expensive anymore. So, because of that, this facts into the second point is they can bring an unholy amount of firepower. And all their firepower, guys. They don't have any special weapons, basically, that aren't AP minus three or AP minus four. They're, they're literally you, the, the two weapons you are going to see used non-stop by Dark Elder are blasters and disintegrators. Blasters, like a twenty-four inch range las cannon. Well, it's like a twenty-four inch range melter gun actually, because it's strength eight, AP minus four, D six damage. That's insane. It's not expensive, so it's like, I don't know how much, I think it's like 10, 13 points, it's not expensive. Disintegrators, three shots, strength five, AP minus three. AP minus three is huge, guys. Two damage! Insane! Now, no, Dark Lancers aren't even that good. Dark Lancers aren't even that good. It's all about the disintegrators and the blasters, guys. The poison shots they have, they wound they always wound your infantry on fours. Which you might think, well, that's not too bad. We're used to getting wounded on threes with most things. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Except for you're not used to a single one of their vehicles pumping out something like 30, 40 shots. Because they've got guys inside with splinter rifles and splinter cannons and splinter racks. And the vehicle itself has got a fucking splint, two splinter cannons. And it's just it's insane. This is insanity what, what they can get. A couple of venoms and a... A, a, a couple of raiders, sorry, loaded up with some Cabalite warriors or some Trueborn with shredders. Just insane. And speaking of shredders, my god, 12-inch pseudo-flamers, guys. 12-inch range. D6 shots. Strength 6. AP minus 1. Rerolling wounds. Insane. They, 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 they just clear you out. Oh, they are tough, guys. They are tough. Now, there is one... Weakness. Oh, and they're fast, I should say. You might be thinking that a lot of their special weapons are only 24-inch range, 36-inch range. That doesn't matter. That does not matter in the slightest. They are going 14, 16, 18 inches standard across their entire army. Now, they have one weakness, and it is a singular weakness. No, it's not the psychic phase. Some people will say, Dark Elder don't get any psychics, so you can beat them on psychic. Well... Uh, no, because the psychic phase, you know, you can't smite spam anymore. Okay, and as Imperial Guard, we don't dominate the psychic phase anyway. We hold our own in the psychic phase. But our psychers, like, aren't super great. They're okay, they're, they're decent, but they're just humans. No, the one weakness of the Dark Eldar is they are not very durable. Even with... Two of my Basilisk and two of my Leaven Russes being taken out. I was able in one turn to smash aside three of their Venoms. 
and do some significant damage to one of their planes. That was with the majority of my heavy weapons removed. What we've got to remember, guys, is Raiders, Venoms, they're only toughness 5. So Lasguns wound them on 5s. It's a big deal. They aren't very durable. They aren't very tough. Okay, they aren't very tough. So you, if you, you can stack wounds on them. The one problem is that most, I think every single one of their vehicles gets a night shield. Which gives them a 5 plus invulnerable save. So even though these things are only rocking toughness 4 with a 4 plus save, it doesn't matter. There's no real point in hitting them with a las cannon. An auto cannon will do just as good. Now, Dark Elder are really, really powerful. And I've talked about how powerful they are. I've started to work the weakness. How can we beat these things? Well, like I said, guys, it's looking like Dark Elder are going to be the new top tier faction, at least for a while. Okay, then maybe they'll get nerfed soon, but at least for a while it's looking at like the top tier faction. Okay, I've seen tournament. Yeah, I've seen for the for example like uh, which I think it's the London Grand Tournament that's coming up soon. Um, I mean, I know a guy who's involved in that, and he said something like a third of the lists or more that have been submitted to him. Maybe even like almost half, like two fifths, are Dark Elder. Something crazy, something absolutely crazy. And maybe I'm getting mixed up here, guys. So don't don't quote me on that. But honestly, Dark, there's a lot of Dark Elder being thrown out there now. A lot of Dark Elder. So that is somewhat good because it means you kind of know when you're going to tournament that you're going to be facing at least a couple of Dark Elder players. And so because of that, we can we can take some tools to deal with them. The number one thing that we need to deal with these filthy evil Xenos is basically we need we, a couple of Hydras. Honestly, guys, if I if, if I had swapped out my Basilisk for Hydras in that last game, oh, it would have been insane. Hy Hydras are a hidden gem. Um. I think they are really, really good. It's difficult to say. Punishers, I think it's... I think Elder are going to be meta-shifting. Because I think... it's We're going to be looking at things like Maximum Daka now, guys. And I have... This is, this is kind of theorycrafting. I'm going to be trying this out. But the Go Big or Go Home policy doesn't... <laughs> In a lot of the armies that have been released by Games Workshop recently, the go big, or go, go big or go home policy isn't working as well. There's a lot of work, there's a lot of invulnerable saves that are being thrown around there by Games Workshop. So you know, hitting a raider with a las cannon or hitting it with an auto cannon, there isn't a big difference. But the la the auto cannon is cheaper. The Punisher, for example, we're talking a Punisher cannon on a tank command of forty shots. Rerolling ones to hit, hit it on threes. That's going to do a good job. I am going. I'm going to try something, guys. And for the next few weeks leading up to my tournament, I'm going to try having almost like a bipolar list. So I'm going to have. I'm not liking the trios list that I've been using. It's not doing it for me. The, the conscripts are just. They're okay, but they. The conscripts are okay, but they're like three hundred. There's basically four hundred and fifty points, of just in my army they take up a lot of space but they just die and they they do take battle shock and they're just not quite working they're okay but they don't quite stand up in, in against this tournament list i've played five tournament practice games now and they just don't quite stand up they can't quite do it it's a shame so i'm going to swap them out for scions basically and what my list is going to be guys what i'm looking at here is my scions are all going to be rocking plasma Melter, right? Plasma and Melter. I'm, I'm taking three sound command squads, three regular squads, uh, and they're all gonna. There's gonna be like all plasma in there, basically. Now, the last thing that the second part of the list is gonna be Daka. I'm thinking I want three. I want three Leonrus punishers. I want th three Torx primes with Gatling cannons. I want heavy bolters. 
on everything. I want Hydras. I'm thinking three Hydras, three Punishers, and three Torx Primes. My three infantry squads are going to be on the Heavy Bolt uh, Flat Brigade, of course. Three veteran squads, auto cannons, three grenade launchers. And so the point of the science is the times are going to rock. The, the Dakar will clear any screens away, turn one. And the science will then drop in and, and crack tr crack open targets. That's the plan. So tell me what you guys think. Tell me what you think about the new Dark Elder. Is it me? Am I the only one struggling against them? Or are they actually super overpowered? I think they're overpowered, guys. And what do you guys think of my new potential list for trios? Maximum Daka with a, with a sprinkling of Bernie Bernie Pow Pow. Tell me what you think. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you guys next time.